Neyland has been um, really an electric atmosphere uh, the entire season. Um, and, and I know it will be again Saturday. Head coach Jeremy Pruitt called on fans to show up in Neyland and be loud, and last night they delivered. But aside from the noise, all the fans, South Carolina ones included, came together for a very special reason. 10 News reporter Grace King explains. Throughout the night, a deafening crowd. We won by 20, and afterwards, my eardrums almost broke. A crowd so loud it could be heard across the river. The Knoxville Police Department tweeted this video after they responded to a loud party call in South Knoxville. Kind of funny because it was so loud. And while the win was quite impressive. The best game that they played in five years. A quieter moment shined too. Yesterday was a very, very special day. A heartfelt day. Vol fan Coach Moore was able to spend time with Mark Holinsky, the father of South Carolina's starting quarterback. The Holinsky family has had a difficult year. I saw a lot of parallels there between him and myself. In 2018, Mark's eldest son, Tyler, took his own life. A tragic situation Coach Moore understands all too well. I also lost a brother to suicide. So I could feel their hurt and pain. And through our connection, he opened up my eyes a whole lot more. In that moment, it didn't matter what team they were rooting for. Whether it's an opponent or not, we're all brothers and sisters. But rather what they believed in. We have to care about everyone unconditionally and non-judgmentally. We have to love everyone. We don't know what someone's going through. Grace King, WBIR 10 News. Mm, powerful story.